Welcome to Module 3. This module describes the Yoke Fellow meeting. Topics covered in Module 3 include what a Yoke Fellow meeting looks like, small group discussions, building relationships, and differences between prison and post-incarceration meetings. Let's start by describing a typical Yoke Fellow meeting. Meetings open with a devotional moment of greeting and prayer, followed by informal time to welcome new participants and to set up small groups for sharing time. An ideal ratio for setup is one Yoke Fellow volunteer seated with two to three inmates, although four inmates may be seated with one volunteer if there aren't enough volunteers to accommodate a smaller ratio. Round tables work best for dividing the participants into small groups for sharing time. The bulk of a Yoke Fellow meeting is spent in sharing and listening time. Ideally, this portion of the Yoke Fellow meeting should last at least 45 minutes. Inmates or returning citizens should drive the conversation with the Yoke Fellow volunteer actively listening and responding in ways that encourage the discussion to deepen. Yoke Fellow volunteers should never dominate the conversation. A Yoke Fellow meeting is an opportunity for the inmates to feel heard, which requires the volunteers to listen more than they talk. And then the meeting should close in prayer. Small group discussions are at the heart of the Yoke Fellow form of ministry. In a prison setting, nobody cares what an inmate has to say. Having the opportunity to feel heard as Yoke Fellow volunteers listen to whatever is on an inmate's heart can be very healing to inmates. As volunteers listen to whatever matters to the inmates, trust is built. Over time, many inmates will take the risk of making themselves vulnerable enough to talk about their pain. A positive response from the Yoke Fellow volunteer helps build a bridge between the inmate and God. Yoke Fellow volunteers are in prison ministry for the long term. Inmates notice when the same volunteers continue to visit week after week, month after month, and year after year. This commitment helps build relationships between the volunteers and inmates as they yoke together along their spiritual journeys. In 2019, the Yoke Fellow Board of Directors added a value statement to the logo to help explain the relational aspect of Yoke Fellow prison ministry. The primary purpose of this ministry is to build trusting relationships between Yoke Fellow volunteers and inmates or returning citizens. This is done through listening, caring, and encouraging. Use this value statement to guide your interactions with those you are serving. Yoke Fellow Prison Ministry expanded to post-incarceration ministry, also known as re-entry or aftercare, in 2018. In most respects, Yoke Fellow meetings operate in the same way in either venue. However, there are a few differences. Yoke Fellow meetings held in prisons must comply with all prison rules. For example, it is critically important to start and end Yoke Fellow meetings on time. The room may not be set up with small tables, so volunteers may need to make adjustments to run a Yoke Fellow meeting as effectively as possible within prison constraints. The prison determines how long the meetings may last and how many inmates may attend. Yoke Fellow volunteers meeting in prisons need to make adjustments to be good guests of the prison. These types of restrictions do not apply to post-incarceration Yoke Fellow meetings. Thank you for viewing Module 3. You can review this video again and refer to the Volunteer Handbook to help you complete the test for this module.